race three on a stellar first day at the Royal Meeting is the St James's Palace Stakes. Uh, Graham Rodway, I know fancies power in this one. Uh, power, the obvious, the obvious one really, but typically of Aidan O'Brien, I don't think it's going to be too short a price. For the simple reason that it was well beaten first time out, and I don't think it was fully wound up that day. But Power isn't an absolute superstar, but I thought he won nicely last time out, and it was just, just this just reminded me so much of an Aidan O'Brien mm. miler, a bit like Master Craftsman. There's nothing special about him, but he's tough, he's genuinely settles, he does the job as asked, and he progressed well from his first start to his second. Nade no Brian's runners usually progress with every start throughout the season, so I'm expecting further improvement from power. Conditions are obviously going to be right in his favour because he handles a bit of cutting the ground, and I don't think it's a great race, Rob. OK, it was a smart win in Ireland, wasn't it? No, it was. I mean, he was always going to win. He was always travelling well, and I thought Joseph O'Brien was going to mess it up, weaving in and around horses, but credit to the jockey, he actually got it perfectly right, and he yeah. got through and won easily. Power is powerly home on the inside, and Power and Joseph O'Brien will beat Foxtrot Romeo, reply as next. Let's just knock off one or two of these others in here, then. Cogito is unbeaten, unbeaten for Brian Meehan. Yeah, I saw it win at Sandown last mm. time I was at the track, and... It was quite impressive, but I didn't think it was the performance of a Group 1 horse. I no. thought it was the perf performance of maybe a Group 3, Group 2 horse. Mm. Um, one nicely, came down the outside, but superiority wasn't, you know, I didn't think he stamped his superiority on it in the way that a Group 1 horse would. Uh, Dragon Pulse? Yeah, Dragon Pulse is quite a classy horse, isn't he? but I think he's quite exposed. I can't fancy Dragon Pulse. Okay, much. fencing? Uh, yeah, Tom Siegel fancies fencing yeah. a bit, doesn't he? Seems has been there. Uh, no, um, uh, William Buick's got off it as well to ride the Nile, which I thought was quite yeah, interesting. Yeah. Presumably he had the choice. Yeah, that's true. I, I would have thought so. But, I mean, Gosden doesn't usually mess up either when, when, no. you know, when he's got a choice or two. So, oh, I don't know. I don't fancy either of the Gosden runners. All right, just uh, quickly on to some of the others. Foxtrot Romeo, good second yeah. in Ireland. Yeah, it ran well last time out, didn't it, behind power. Mm. Open to a bit more improvement. But, I mean... As I was saying, I think that anything that was behind power should all to reverse yeah. the form because O'Brien do tend to improve. OK, and finally, most improved. Yeah, disappointing mm. in France. And uh, I know a couple of people quite fancy it to bounce back because the ground has probably come in its favour, but I'm not entirely convinced okay. by most improved. Well, OK, well, power is then at, at around the uh, three to one mark, uh, power in the St James's Palace. Yeah. OK.